The campers now wanting the dinosaur to reach Isla Sorna and cause chaos and destruction on that island. The campers decided to do everything, everything that they can to kill the Ultimasaurus before it can even get there. They try many tactics, like trying to exhaust the Ultimasaurus, so that way it can drown at sea before it can even get a chance to get to the mainland, or get to Isla Sorna. They even try, I mean, by lighting the thing on fire. But at this point, nothing is working and the ultimate source is entirely ignoring them. That isn't until helicopters arrive and start tranquilizing the animal. They grab the creature and take it away. One of these helicopters is a is Dr. Wu with a worried expression on his face. He wondered how did the ultimate source got out. And the rest of the events of season three play out. Very similar to the original, only this time Dr. Wu discovers the mangled bodies of the two Scorpius Rexes. And Brooklyn says the line of, it took one monster to kill another. The, when Brooklyn says that, it got Dr. Wood to realize that the only true way to get rid of the ultimate source is with another hybrid dinosaur. To kill a monster, you need a monster. Cut to the events of Jurassic World. World Falling Kingdom, and Dr. Wu secretly created another Indominus Rex. However, this time, this Indominus Rex was more docile than the original, meaning it does not have the luxury to kill for sports and just wants to live like a normal dinosaur. He even made another Indoraptor. This Indoraptor was less hostile and violent and unlike the original. He even went as far as creating thing, a new Scorpius Rex, and this one wasn't hyper-aggressive and didn't have the ability to reproduce on its own. No one knew what Dr. Wood was planning, but he was planning to put an end to his original creation with the help of new creations. However, he doubted that these three dinosaurs will be able to handle the ultimate source alone, which was why I, during the events of Jurassic World Dominion, he convinced Dachin to bring in not only the T-Rex, but the Spinosaurus, because he knew that the valley's resident Giganotosaurus was, wouldn't be enough to bring down the Ultimasaurus. The Ultimasaurus was kept in a contained, it was put in a secured location and away from the other dinosaurs in the valley. The dinosaur did make attempts to break out. But this time, Dr. Wu became prepared That is isn't until well, the events that happen later on, with the force catching on fire, and Rexy's final battle with Zeb eventually plays out. Only this time there is a massive difference. The ultimate source arrives and the original trio and the current print trio see the ultimate source and Claire asks, what is that thing? Dr. Wu says the line of something that I should have never created years ago. Of course, Rexy start, Zeb starts fighting 
getting the ultimate source, but gets destroyed in the process. That isn't until Rexy comes back and decides to help out Zeb. During the battle, the Spinosaurus eventually shows up and tries to help. Help Rexy, Zeb, and and to bring peace to the valley. However, seeing that three apex predators were not enough to bring it down, Dr. Wu decides to go for Plan B. And Owen and Claire ask, what is Plan B? And Dr. Wu says the line of, time for the old to meet the new. He presses a button and releases the Indominus Rex, Scorpius Rex, and the Indoraptor, and commands them to attack, attack the Ultimasaurus. Dr. Wu explains that the new Indominus Rex and Indoraptor are not that violent compared to the original, and that the Scorpius Rex is also not that violent. That dangerous, unlike his original counterpart. The three hybrids charge at at the Ultimasaurus with Rexy, Zeb, and 87 joining in to def- not only kill the Spinous Bolt, the Ultimasaurus, but to put an end to its reign of terror, or for good. It was hard work, but eventually, the three hybrids and the three apex predators were finally managed to kill kill the Ultimasaurus, putting an end to its reign of terror for good. After the death of the Ultimasaurus, the three Apex Predators and the three Hybrids went their separate ways. The Indominus Rex, Scorpius Rex, and Indoraptor get to live peacefully in Biosyn Valley with the other dinosaurs. And at the same time, Rexy, Zeb, and 87 also get to live peacefully in Biosyn Valley as well. Dr. Wu eventually explains to the original, to the OG group, and to the new group about why he regretted creating the Ultimasaurus. And that it was thanks to Brooklyn saying the line of, it took a monster in order to kill another monster, that he finally realized what he needed, needed to kill the Ultimasaurus. And that was with the help of other monsters. And that this was the final time that he was ever going to create hybrid dinosaurs. And just preferred to create new species of dinosaurs instead of creating hybrids. Because hybrids like the Ultimasaurus should never be created. So there you go. There is my own what if the ultimate source was in the Jurassic franchise. Honestly, I think this dinosaur would have had a huge impact to both the park movies and to the world movies.
and even to Camp Cretaceous, except for chaos theory. I mean, I guess the ultimate source can make a like a cameo appearance and like Yaz having like her PTSD moment where she sees the ultimate source, but I don't know. But yeah, tell me in the comments below, what do you think? Think what would happen if the Ultimate Saurus was in the Jurassic franchise? And do you think that Dr. Wu will be able to create a different version of the Indominus Rex, Scorpius Rex, and Indoraptor in order to take down the Ultimate Saurus with the help of Z87 and Rexy? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.